Hello, thank you for joining me. I've just arrived in my larder in Peter Lee. Peter Lee is a new town in County Durham. We're here in this housing estate. The reason I've brought you to this housing estate is because there's something quite exciting down here. So leave the car there, walk down through these bungalows and um, get a bit of a surprise. There is, um, I'm not sure to call it architecture or art, or well, both really. It's, um, I really like it. It's not everyone's cup of tea. But as we come down to here, there's a lake in front of us, a stream dug out into a lake and then straddling the lake we have this concrete beast, it's known as the Apollo Pavilion. It was designed by the architect Victor Parsmos. It's also known as Parsmos Pavilion. So if you look around the houses you see, this is the Peter Lee Newtown. It was originally planned by Lebetkin but his design was turned down so various other architects got involved. This is how the houses was originally looked with a flat roof but as we'll see soon some of them have had a pitched roof in fact I can show you with one of these bungalows here have had a pitched roof put on and um, because I suppose flat roofs you know they let water in sometimes when they get old if you look on this bungalow here see how on the gable end there's a clear line where there's um, newer brickwork but the main thing of course we have come here to see is this pavilion I think it's really cool it's just a great piece of uh, brutalist like I said art stroke architecture it doesn't really serve a purpose other than it's just here and it's um I like it it's, it's different it's a great two-star listed building it had um you know been threatened with demolition all through the 90s and finally um in around 2009 it was awarded a grade two star listed building it's one of only about four buildings in the northeast to have that high level of protection so the lake comes to here, which gives all sorts of reflections. Um, so we're going to walk under here, and then there's a, another section of water. We'll walk under there afterwards, moving up here first, and then as you can see, there's a waterfall, and the stream goes off there like a giant water slide. But let's now go up here. We can't actually go into the middle of it, but we certainly will go up here and have a look at the. You can see how it was cast. So it's like this section was cast. This section was part cast, a bit like um, making a giant Lego set, except you made the bricks as you did it. And then there we go, you get a view looking through. So yeah, it's a shame we can't go in. I really would have liked to have gone in there, but we get a good look around the rest of the building. I think what we'll do, let's go down here. That's interesting. So see this, what looks like sticking out just for the sake of it, it's actually holding a light in there. So that has kind of got a purpose, but... The fun thing of brutalist architecture is some, you know, parts of it don't, like, they just stick out for fun. But yeah, it's, it's different and exciting. And like I say, it might, I don't know if attractive is the word. It's kind of ugly, but ugly in a nice way. I like it. Let's go down this winding path down here, which looks like this path is only here, just to take you to somewhere to have a look at the building. Look at that stream. It's like a... There's more water. It looks like a giant water slide taking you away from the pavilion. And then, as I said, more houses. Must be quite sort of strange and exciting living here. You know, you live there, that's your house. And that's your neighbour. So, the stream goes off down there. You see it's just below us. And it winds its way up, up to the waterfall, the concrete waterfall of the pavilion. We'll do now we'll um we'll go and have a have another look closer like i said i'd like to have taken you upstairs um i think the problem is in the past it has had a few problems with antisocial behavior and um so that's probably why they close it off but um you know at least we can go through it it could have been demolished so easily in the 90s as so many brutalist structures did and the fact that this one you know it's not like people lived or worked in it, it is just here you know, it doesn't really have a purpose other than just being something to look at and for people like me to come and make a video of. That's kind of its main purpose, really, just to be different. It does look a bit like the sort of thing I'd have made out of Lego, though, when I was a child. It just doesn't have water in my Lego. This bit feels a bit like being in an old story car park somewhere. It does remind me a little bit, um, it's not the same architect, but of the Tricorn Centre in Portsmouth, which um, was a brutalist shopping centre, which unfortunately 
was demolished in 2004. So I've got this piece sticking out here and um, there's a light in it but really I think that bit up there is there purely just for decoration. The only actual paintings on it that I believe are original is see that oval funny shaped mural again that just adds to the abstract of the building. Um, that's interesting. Up there I'm not sure what it is but there's something there. I don't think that's a light that one. It might be a drinking fountain. Um, unfortunately we can't go up to have a look. There's some information here on it though. Look, it says Apollo Pavilion by Victor Parsmore in 1969. It's won various awards, Civic Trust Award. So walk through here onto this um, cobbled floor and then there's the there's the lake again. I don't know if there's any fish in the in the lake, I'm not too sure. It might be. We get another view. It's nice now. I like how the sun's shining on it and you get those all the different greys. Just about every shade of grey seems to be in there. And this this funny thing here, this is a, another abstract statue. This here, this was also designed uh, by the same architect. And here's the other um, painting which I believe to be original. So that's also part of the building. Oh, there's another one of those things. I was guessing it was a drinking fountain, but since there's one on this side, can't exactly go there for drink, so I'm um, not too sure what that is. If anyone knows if it serves a purpose or is it purely just part of the abstract of the building, then do comment and let me know. But um, I just think it's pretty cool and different. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to um, head into town, find a pub for dinner. I've enjoyed coming out here somewhere I've always known about and just never got round to visiting. But as soon as I'm up in the northeast this weekend for the IFA event, um, so if you may have seen the video I did at North Road Station at Darlington where we were joined by a few Trabants and a Wartburg, um, there will be more videos coming from this weekend. There'll be more Eastern Block cars, uh, but I just thought I'd come down here to do this bit as soon as I was so close. I just uh, you know, couldn't resist coming to see this pavilion. Look at it now. I think that's really cool. It's um, I don't, I still don't quite know what to make of it. Um, other than I like it. It's different. It's here, you know, for the sake of being here. Um, luckily, it wasn't demolished like it so easily could have been, like so many brutalist buildings have been. I mean, some brutalist buildings aren't worth saving, and you can't save everything. But this, this is a building I think really should have been saved. It has been saved, so I'm really happy about that. And. Um, we can come and enjoy it so you know if you're ever up here in peter lee if you're you know maybe going up to the north why not call in here have a look at it as i did and um marvel of this brutalist wonder we have here in peter lee so thank you very much for watching please do feel free to like subscribe and comment and from this very different unusual whatever you want to call it pavilion goodbye